Bum, 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 bum. All right, so we begin yet another day. What do we want to listen to? It's a difficult decision to make. Mm. What's that cool show that came out? Uh, not show, um, game that came out. Same makers of Bastion and Super Giant Games. Hades. Hades, Hades, Hades. Do we have? We do have a singles list for Hades. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. I think we're good to go. That's what we have so far. This arm for now doesn't need to exist. Actually, none of these parts needs to exist. We hide them. Because we'll be building something more. Uh, today's... I guess we do a leg day today. And where do we start from? Do we start from the roughest part or the easiest part? Trick question. There's no easy. There are no easy parts here. Let's do this one. That is the wrong script. So I need strips to sub D. I need this one. I will be doing a tutorial on this, of course, later. Okay. Now it's time to figure out what we delete and what we keep. That might work, but <clears throat> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it. An eye on it, I guess. That is most likely not going to work. <clears throat> Apologies. Actually, this might. So let's try... Actually, this might as well. Hmm. Kinda wanna try those, uh, but I'll just keep one. That is a 
really nasty delete so we, we delete that the ball does not going to is not going to work okay something like this right I don't think this will work I think this one that will need to be gone simply because we can't have enclosed loops in this approach because someone didn't code that in all of this though all of these are square aren't they well this is not which means that on this side this is not everything else seems to be square we can try that is square but it's nope that's too much too far gone these as well Oh, and this is not going to be... Okay, this is not symmetrical. It's gonna take twice as long. Well, life, it is what it is. Okay, let's try. Let's just try and see where it breaks. I want to do this. Um, get the list item in here. I think the count is too much. By the way, um, not list item, list length. that ask if the list length is larger than three no four <coughs> and with the answer sorry about that the answer we can call from this list with this list let's just make a quick custom preview okay so for instance this needs to not be there um, and that's it. Everything else is a quad. Wonderful. 
All right, so we have that. Then we don't need this amount of steps. This is too much. Or is it? Feels like it needs to be like it needs to be constructed not this way but somehow curvature based But that just shows and here we can only evaluate it at the parameter <clears throat> okay never mind just drop it back down to 15 this step size one two three four well maybe 20. yeah something closer to this and let's just bake it out and clean it manually. Okay. Okay, that's done. And basically at this point we just kind of fillet stuff and then start working on it, right? Like that. <coughs> okay. Let's take this and move this back to 500. To here and start working on it. Can I get rid of edges? Yes, I can. Okay. And then can I not snap to anything except like center points and quads and vertices? Oh, but that's two now. Eh, maybe two is enough. Can't fill, okay. that you're doing well when there's spam bots on your channel
that's fixed. Why does this not want to fill? That's weird. That's one. That's one. That's one. Fill. This boundary. Can't fill. It's very strange. Uh, but it is what it is. We'll 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 fix it later. I think I moved it. Yeah, I moved it. Should not move it. Yo, what's up? I do need to... <laughs> For the names you subdescribe, yeah. Hi, by the way. No, I, I ain't that... Not tacky, don't even know the, the name for, for this kind of a thing. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to go to options and change a few things up. That joke, yep. That, that might be accurate. So about locked objects, ah, oh, there we go. Objects uh, appear transparent with 50% transparency. Perfect. Okay. This should give me enough. Why are there still... I don't need to see any of these. There we go. This will give me a pretty good guide without actually snapping to the guide. Should be nice. Okay, let's um, let's see here. Well, now there's no way that fill won't work, right? Does work. Kinda needs to stitch like that. Yep. 
That seems fine. to work those vertices work them work them real good two and a three it kind of needs to slide seems like it's gonna yeah that seems fine so now uh, all of this is actually gonna be pretty straightforward so let's remove every other one like that let's do that hello Paresh bridge one two three four five six that Bam. um this does need to slide to like here or something and now I do need to move this out What are you guys doing? Forming the the leg. Yeah, something like that should work. Seems okay. And Jay is here. Hello, Jay. Wait, are you guys students? I know that Thomas is probably not a student. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Thomas is not a student. But uh, Paresh, yeah, Paresh is a student. And Jay, what about you? is yeah there's a single point there that's good okay th so this doesn't need to do that um well this kind of needs to she's working what do you do jay what do you do If this is sufficient, ah, doesn't actually want to do that, huh? Or 
I think for this one we can actually align the vertices 0 0.1 mil. Yeah. Um, 0 0.1 might even be too much. Yeah, that that is enough. Working as an architect? I oh, know. Parametric consultancy firm. Whoa. That's cool. That's very cool. Parametric consultancy. Oh wow, it's facades, kinetic sculptures, the whole the whole shebang, huh? That's that's interesting. And how are the clients? Do you get a lot of clients? So I would imagine it's pretty hard to like or actually these days maybe not so much maybe these days it's actually fine like get getting the clientele you know okay that's one goes here two goes here three goes here those will match up nicely except here which gets stitched and deleted there Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Not many actually. Yeah. Well, these days it's pretty rough with the with the clients either way. Get getting getting clients because the economy is dog shit in the whole world. More clients are architects. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I somehow feel like there is a little bit... Li what the hell am I going to do with this? I somehow feel like there is a little bit... Um, what's the correct way of phrasing this? Like parametrics are not dying off a bit, but... Like it had this huge wave of interest from the professionals, from architects and whatnot. And over time, it just um, kind of died off a little bit. Well, dying is, is a very strong word, but like the interest is not so overwhelm overwhelmingly present as what it used to be before. At least that that's that's how I see it. Okay, that should not be happening this should be a bevel this should be a stitch it almost feels like it died together with Zaha 
again, I'm saying died. Didn't die. Nothing died. Just is chilling a little bit. You know. Max and relaxing. In cruise mode. That's actually not bad. <clears throat> All I need to do is just get rid of these and rebridge them properly. Hola, Nico Nico. Welcome na. Just stitching fiesta going on here. In the India, the market is real good for this type of work. Oh, I'm I'm happy to hear that. Like the like that that India is is, is taking the lead in, in terms of computational not computational but like parametric design. That's cool. I, I feel like that's 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 a good thing. It's a very good thing. of these I can China as well isn't it China is also really hammering out the the fucking parametric facades and whatnot that that's just one Just one. I wonder if um, I wonder what's gonna be the next big thing, because uh, definitely with Zaha in the picture, like parametrics were a big deal. That's for sure. <clears throat> and now it's again, it's it's tapering down. So I wonder what's what's gonna be, you know, ne the next thing. Is it AI? Probably not, right? Or maybe. Might be. But it's gonna be so hard, like since, since I'm thinking about it through the perspective of a YouTube channel, it will be so tricky to teach that kind of stuff. 
where do you even begin? Oh, come on. Like with AI prompts and whatnot. Do you talk about weights or... Don't even know. Kinetic sustainable? Uh, yeah, but that's that's that has been a thing for... Like sustainable has been a thing for 50 years now. So it's, I wouldn't consider that a new thing. It's just a thing that we do because we've realized that, oh, wait, we're fucking everything up. Like the, the planet is gonna boil soon. And also our cities are unlivable. Especially USA. Like I've read this article about walkability in cities, so how how easy it is to walk in the cities. And USA is just it just feels like a hellscape when it comes down to walkability. It just feels so bad. I might be overly simplifying this. We'll see. Okay, so these definitely bridge. Why is that not not a clean bridge? Why is that now not a clean bridge? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Wait, Nico Nico is from USA. Nico Nico, explain why. Smart craft, concrete with solar panels, sensors are under stuff, mixed in it, and then somehow building is better. Um, that is not a direction, that is an addition additional stuff um, um, how do I explain this um, ah, there we go uh, okay first about public roads then about uh, smart houses um, the reason why, well, that that's what I've read. I've never been to USA, by the way. Just, you know, just so that we're all on the same page. Um, to... Fuck. This kind of needs to... Um, that's, that's what I've read. Uh, basically, you can't walk from point A to point B in USA easily without a car like it's car oriented road system or not roads how do you call it network road network not road network what's the word I'm trying to figure out the road Basically, to go to a shop, you need to take a car. To go to visit your grandma in another county or uh, that doesn't matter, like in another city, you need to take a car. To the American dream, right? Getting your kids to school like to a, or baseball practice, you take a car. Like everything is oriented around taking a car and 
there was this kind of article about why that is maybe not the best thing. And I kind of agree with the article. Because, uh, simply because the public transport is not well developed enough and not really that safe. Again, I keep premising, <laughs> I keep, keep uh, reminding this. I, this is what I have read, I, this is not what I experienced because I've never been to USA. It actually needs to be like that. Yeah, that's cleaner. That is very true, not just trust, but also like the drive throughs and s oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a whole a whole chapter on drive throughs that you go and buy some food and it's literally a drive through, so you don't even need to leave the car. Well, technically we have that in, in, in Sweden, Lithuania, in all of the countries, but not I guess not to the same extent. to have it like that though one second yeah that seems good um one reason is the cities like here, LA, scale of the horizontals sprawl like down is simply too far. Yeah, yeah, so the, the urban sprawl that happened. When did it happen? Like 60s? That was like mostly due to the baby boom, right? So 50s. That was a big thing. that collaborated or collaborated what about sweden sweden is okay in terms of this particular thing oh that's an edge loop right there can i use this not really shit I need that or I can kill this at the corner like that yeah that seems fine so Sweden's fine in terms of that um, the public transport in Sweden is excellent. Um, I don't even have driver's license, by the way. Just to put it in perspective. I don't have a driver's license. I work in a different city. So, the Lund University is located in Lund, while I don't live in Lund. And that has never been a problem for me ever um, and there is mostly like I can either take the bike if the weather is nice or I take the train or I take the bus doesn't really matter and then there is Copenhagen hmm Okay, this will need a, a little bit more love, huh? Um, 
So there's Copenhagen. Uh, and to Copenhagen also I don't need, which is in a different country. I don't need a car. It takes me like... I don't even know, like 20 minutes? Less than 20 minutes. No, 20 minutes to get to Copenhagen from where I live. investigate here so that can happen well the India situation is just the population amount right exactly the same uh, problem is in Japan the public transport is excellent well, only in in key places in Japan, but if you go to Shinjuku during rush hour, you will not have a nice time. Like they will have a nice pleasant Japanese guy just push you in into the train because you can't fit by yourself. Oh, even pharmacies have a drive-thru. Well, I guess that was nice for COVID. Uh, and, and like d during the COVID era. COVID arc of our history. Is that bridge? Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> when is your next trip to Japan gonna be? I'm gonna go... We, me and my wife, we're gonna go most likely this summer, coming summer. Hopefully. I really hope that no no plans change and we will be able to go. That kind of needs to die, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so we need to minimize this drastically. Like that. Or actually... This can kind of stay, but it will need to be reduced here to one polygon group. Uh, I said one, I meant three. Actually, just do that. <clears throat> so 
So that trip. Hopefully we will buy uh, very cheap, to be clear, house in Japan. I've, I've been saving up a lot. Yeah, of course. It's not it's not going to be a house tour, honestly. It's going to be a little bit more than that. Um because for the price at which I am able to purchase a house, the house is going to be um how do I call it? in a not so great condition perhaps that's the best way to to call it the condition will be questionable this can actually be so we will need to fix it and since we will be fixing it i will you know, might as well do a YouTube series. Exactly like an Akia. Exactly like a Nokia. Mm. Yeah, that's it's been my dream for a while as well. For a long time, actually. That's clean enough. That's interesting. Hope it goes well. Yeah, me too, me too. We'll see though. A lot of unknowns. Now, then this is where it gets starts getting weird. I need to bridge like that. 
This is clean. This definitely needs to not do that. This becomes a bridge. This becomes a bridge and this becomes a fill. Two, three, four, five. That ain't too bad. Right, these guys. Just do that. What's up with that one? It's just a weird edge.
Okay. That seems like it's gonna hold. Oh wait, if we... So we need one more for it to kind of work, right? Yeah, that works, that's fine. That's gonna be four. That's gonna be the wrecked one.
Mm, that kind of works. Mm, when I say kind of... Okay. That's kind of fixed. Let's try this one out. Hmm. These two need to kind of slide into position, I think. Like that. Might as well. Okay, so I need this whole area, including here, 
And I have an inserted edge, right? Like so. That can be used to protect this border. Okay. Yeah, good. Now that gets protected. And now, 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 we need one more. Going through here. Going right to the middle. Like that. Yeah, okay. That kind of works. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Fuck. Yeah, need something like that. Which means that here... A bevel needs to happen. And this thing needs to slide all the way to here. Well, this kind of slides to here. Okay, now... Let's just see if we can align. Uh, to a certain extent, yes. like if I just no it's impossible huh almost feels like I need to do let's insert edge all right right um try doing this then Also not good.
What if we bridge here? We have two segments. Just it here. Still here. And then... Yeah, okay, that works. Mm. This is not going to be that that hard to do. Oh, and now we have the polygon count, so we can actually we can actually do this whole part. Okay. So starting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or other. Mm -mm. This will be smarter. Let's fill in here first. And now. Now and now and now. From here to here. We do a bridge. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we're dealing with four um, polygons here, and then two. This gets removed. Let's just count. One, two. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And four here. Okay. Oh, this is like fucked up. Okay.
Okay. Maybe I can do something like this. Those two worked out. Okay. Now this is gonna be a doozy. So we need to somehow bridge this and this back into here. Wait. So they do need to be horizontal. One second, I'm, I'm gonna find like a nicer, nicer music to listen to.
If it's too loud, let me know. It's per usual. Technically, this doesn't need to exist, huh? They're trying to do it all in run on purpose. There is a fantastic iPad Retopo app and also Maya Squad Throttle. I'm starting to get in the habit of just exporting the triangulated mesh from Rhino to either one of these programs and go from there. Um Is there a difference? First of all, I like in terms of Maya, I don't use Maya, um, so that's that's that. <laughs> I just don't use Maya. Um, but now you're you're making me think: Why do I not use Blender? And also, I don't have an iPad. Just to be clear, honestly, like. What would be faster for me, doing this in Rhino or in Blender? Also, uh, you probably missed the start of the stream. I have a small little script here. Right? A grasshopper script in Rhino. That spits out... Well, right now you can't see it, but for any form... That is uh, that has these fillets go going along it. It spits out all of the uh, like polygon ribbons, like these guys, for me automatically, which saves a lot of time in terms of like snapping to form and following the form perfectly. Uh, so that's one thing. Or, or one reason, I guess. So 
So in other words, I automate part of it. Part of the Ritopo. So these uh, strips, for instance, here, they were not drawn or they were not modeled by me. They were just made with, uh, with Grasshopper. That part saves a lot of time. How do I want to deal with this though? Maybe let's first investigate here. I don't know, does that make sense? I know that Maya has a lot of kind of re really good tools uh, for Retopo and whatnot, but I just don't use Maya. I just don't. Hmm. Okay, that needs an additional edge loop here. Also, I mean, I, I did look at a lot of YouTube videos about this topic in general, and it doesn't feel like it's much better, honestly. Like it's better, that's definitely true, but let's say instead of spend, spending 48 hours on this, I would be spending how much? say 40 hours it's fine it's one work day that's not a big problem in a setting like in a company's office setting uh, I couldn't do this of course in an office setting I would need to follow certain Like I would need to have the speed with the way I work, but here it's fine. We can just take our time stitching stuff together. So for the current process in Rhino, you model first in NURBS and then basically remodel again in SubD. True, yes, uh, because with NURBS you have the way you model in NURBS and the way you model in SubD is so different, right? Um, it's com completely like two, two different approaches and to get a hard surface model just by modeling it in SubD sometimes is like you you get limited by the tool itself so if you first model in one tool and then remodel it in another it kind of eliminates the um, restrictions i guess of the tool of each tool rather uh what the fuck do we do here Okay, so this needs to be needs to chill here, bridge. Then here we have a, a little bit of a doozy. That's what we call a bit of a doozy. We could insert an edge loop. I'll solve that doozy a little bit because here we had the doozy as well. But let's see. First, let's see how this relaxes. This doesn't feel like it's it's gonna be that bad. No, it's gonna be pretty bad. Okay, let's let let's fix it. Just insert an edge right there. Let's bridge that. 
make that into a triangle what about using quadri mesh in grasshopper i tried that was the literally the first thing that i tried doing three days ago when i started when i started remodeling this whole thing um nope the edge flow doesn't follow the edges they simply don't follow the polygons the way i want them to follow the polygons what the edges don't follow not the polygons but the directions like the edges of the nerves surface uh they just kind of twist and turn around and it's it's gonna it's not clean it's bad and also it produces way too many polygons i'm just gonna have a triangle there it produces way too many polygons as well which is also a problem no i can't have a triangle there Need to transfer that. Okay, so this will go here. This this kind of can turn, right? Yeah, I think this can turn. Just turn, please. Or wait doesn't need to turn easy so this can just directly go here okay this goes here this goes here and these two get stitched all right <clears throat> I can kind of show you what remesh. Mm, let's see the preview. So with this amount of polygons, like compared to this, the quad remesh is doing an okay job. Um, well, not here, right? Let's convert it to sub D. So it's kind of following along in, in, in certain areas. For instance, here, it definitely catches it. But in other areas, it's not, not following along that well. Actually, I could borrow. I could borrow this joint from here. Yeah, I'll, I'll maybe do that because this one is clean. Um, while here it does way too many. So I could change the adaptive size to 100% and target quad count to 1000 and then try again. But as I do that, uh, notice how the face count is locked to like 17,000. Let's cancel that actually and let's recalculate. Because even when I do target count like 2,000. Oh, it now gives me 5,000. I don't know. Like it's also a little bit buggy, I guess. Uh, let's drop it down to 1,000. So it never for some reason reaches the target count that I want. Yeah, now it's at 2,500. And it's st we're starting to get into a similar range. Um, actually, this is not that bad. Shit. <laughs> Every time. This is not that bad. I could use this. I mean, it's still compared to, you know, how many polygons we have here and how many we have here. It's still uh, double, at least. That's not too bad. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. I do want to get um, 
this part in here oh yeah it's it's starting to mess up there let's explode this delete just get that in there just a ball joint we won't need to build it later but yeah basically quad remesh in that particular case worked much better i'm considering that it had to do twice the amount of polygons it worked okay um, but usually it really doesn't it really really doesn't usually it's pretty damn bad Let's see. These two. These two. Right? Right. Yeah. Bridge. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Let's remove some creases. Get some stitching going. Right there. Sliding action, like so. And basically, what we want to do well, this one now is kind of fucked because it's not straight anymore. So, I need to Alt copy it out. Nope, that was I need to extrude it out. Okay. Get that in here, scale that to zero, draw draw that back into something like so. Actually, accurately to something like so. And select, we stitch. Now we get a pretty clean edge that we can work work on. Mm, except for this polygon. Okay, so here we have three polygons that need to become one. That is not gonna be pretty. Mm. Technically, I could do... Okay, let's do a bridge with two segments. Let's do a very awkward... Oops, a very awkward bridge here. And the fill. Okay, that ain't too bad. Now to actually bridge here. That is incorrect. This bridge actually needs to be like that. So that here. This can slide. Two, two. this one is that a problem
that corner is a little bit annoying but maybe I can just bevel this to open it up slide that a bit that does not want to slide at all that's okay we'll force it come on just slide near point snap there we go to here okay now that can be a bridge this will create a pretty sharp edge here which i am okay with that can be sharp that's fine okay um that will require a lot of polygons so we will give it a lot of polygons from here That's not too bad. Now, back to here. Mm, that is a quad. It basically has a lot of polygon loops. Why does it have so, have so many polygon loops? Because they all taper into there. Okay, there's a shit ton of detail in the back on the back side. Mm -hmm. Okay. more I should I should I should I should okay let's insert mm. and we'll tie it back somewhere here I think not great but it's gonna do the trick Let's 
let's see, let's see, let's see. So this can stitch to this. Oh, well, can bridge, I mean. This can bridge to this. These can be stitched into one point. Which makes it possible to bridge this as well as this. Okay. And that makes a turn, that makes a turn. Hey Gintars, hey. Hello. Then here we need these two to stitch to an average. This to get bridged. Still don't go. Now we do. now we go. Now we go, boys. Now we go. Bridge? Fuck. <laughs> of course not bridge. It's stitch. There we go. It was stitch all along. Okay, and now the final one is gonna be here, which we bridge. One segment. had to be done it had to be done to to have less polygons it had to be done unfortunately looks real bad but streams are nice well they're gonna end soon and uh, this week is the last week and then we will pick it up probably not probably we will pick it up again january do you have any t video tutorials about Oh my god, oh no, no, no. <laughs> About um, texture mapping in Rhino. Don't, don't, don't go that path. Don't, don't go, don't go that way. Do not texture map in Rhino. That's my tutorial to you. Don't. Just don't. Why would you? Just use Blender. Yes, I do have... Uh, Tutorial on texture mapping in Rhino. Uh, let me find it. There it is, link in the video uh, chat. Almost said a YouTuber thing, link in the video description below. But no, link in the in the chat about the tutorial. Um, the short 
premise is that not premise like that what's the word tldr tldr of of it is that uh, you don't use rhino for texture mapping because it's horrible you use something else If it's just residential building, you just do box map. Um, check out my V-Ray course, AADA25, I'll write it down. It's on YouTube as well. Check out the V-Ray course, it will have what you are... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. It will have what you are looking for, at least it should have. part oh my god okay okay oh sure shouldn't be a problem though um if we count correctly one two three four five six seven a pretty nice effect should i keep it no nah. but we will between these two then between these two oh there's a lot here and not a lot here that ain't good. Oh, they can't be disjoint. Okay, cool.
can't as, as much as I want to to do this. Hmm. Okay. Math worked out. Actually worked out. Okay. Um. A line. Control A. Remove crease. Didn't remove. Now removed. We have some shenanigans going on here and the last one is this um let's hit the bevel here uh this ball socket needs to be just bigger in general right So all we need to do is just select the damn thing, just scale it, yep, should be fine, okay, and then let's get in here, so we have this boundary and this boundary. This boundary, of course, needs to. Well, let's let's create a, a C plane. Um, three points on any one of these three points here. So now we have a new plane here, and let's hide this for just a second because this. Now can be extruded and scaled to be zero to fit well with the C plane. Okay, let's show something like that. Sure. That intersection that's happening here, I'm not a big fan of, so I need to wait. This whole surface here needs to kind of be moved out a bit. Um, 
here as well. And there are like these little fillets here. Okay, so now that's good, meaning that I can now start bridging between the two, and it's doesn't matter if you know how, how it looks like. This is just to get it closed. So it can be a whole damn mess here. apart okay so we can't do that shit okay let's take this then is this the inner one or the outer one this is the the inner one so that's the outer one can i just make it bigger like that and relax or smooth it relax it but move it in again okay should be a bit better So we have, of course, a few triangles here, but that's fine. And let's protect this with a bevel.
just to have a slightly sharper transition. Of course, no one is ever gonna see this because on the outside it's fine. But still. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Yeah, that looks decent in the socket. That's good. Nice. Nice suit. Next. Oh, okay, so now I can show you the strips thing in action. So it only works with quad strips, meaning that I need to remove all of the surfaces that are non-rectilinear. It's not too many. Nico, keep it in your pants. or not don't objectify the robot don't objectify the robot this will be done manually I think yep Just describing the physical appearance naturally. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's a triangle there. Um, so unfortunately, we can't have those things as well. Well, I, I will need to build them. Um, but yeah, this should do it, right? Right, it should work. Okay, so we get that. Then we go in here, right click, set one B rep, and it spits out. And I 
can't show you. Basically, it just spits out a, <coughs> a sub D thing for us, which I can insert. I can delete the B rep. Yeah, that, that's how it looks like. Right? It's kind of ribbon thing. Um, would have been nicer if we had less polygons here, but mm, that's fine. Okay, next one. Um, there are instances where it's breaking, for instance, here. So I just delete. It's breaking here, so I just delete. It really doesn't like it. Yeah, for in here, like there's probably like a additional point there that it doesn't doesn't enjoy. Um, so I keep doing this until all of the pink display things are gone. And it's not done yet. Let's hide this and find it. And then I will need to fix a few things here, but... Hello? Pink polygon? Hello? Am I blind? How many? Two invalid surfaces. Okay, so they're invalid. They can't, can't be displayed either way, so we don't care, actually. We can just insert this. Invalid are fine if, if they are not being displayed. That's fine. Okay, so we have that. Um, let's... Oh, th there's, there's a sub D or not potential. Of this strip yeah that's good actually insert that not sure if I did it I'll do it again wait for instance here that's pretty clean isn't it set one insert delete we have the sub version of that Also these but I never liked these I think these will come in as a texture because damn they're not nice it's so messy but that's okay okay so that's that's how you do it basically right now with the script and then once you're done you are just moving it back to 500 no minus 500 Back in here and starting to stitch everything together, right? To clean everything up. Easy as that. Keeps doing that. Uh, I think align vertices will work. Yeah. That just removes the duplicates.
Okay. It's actually fine. This is where it starts getting difficult. Really, let me re redo this a little bit. It's going to be four then. So it's going to become five. Let's try five.
Hmm? Yes, that is cleaner topology than what we had before. Wheat. So the top is finished. Back. Yikes. stitched one two three four five six mm, that needs to be stitched one two Three, four, five, six, seven. Too much. Stitch that. That's two. Is that stitched? That is. That is not. Okay. That's a problem. Actually, it's not. I just need to. Okay, so let's try it. Let's do that. Bam. Like that and like that. This should be enough. Okay, now let's math real quick. Shit. Um So that adds up, that also adds up, and there's a triangle there, that's fine. 
I overstitched it. Then here, it doesn't add up at all. These two edges. I think these two need to be beveled. Something like that. Two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. golden we're good we're good now okay so now this is fine or rather this is fine this we have this we have um, we have this one two one so actually can we just Stitch this to zero and not use that and completely not use anything here. Make this into a straight line segment. Bridge here. And instead insert edge here. Now the answer is yes, the answer is yes, we can. Okay, that's clean, that's clean. That can be clean. That can be clean. That's fine. And this is just basically a straight line segment waiting to happen. Okay, the whole top is done now. The bottom will be a thing, but we'll do it later. Let's clean up here. Something like that, I think. So one. Yep. Can we get get away with two? We don't need two. That and that. We can get away with one. And we will. Yep. That seems fine. Okay, so after this is done, I need to drop down the curvature by quite a bit, so I'll just be deleting every other curve. Like 
that. Let's just see if if it doesn't twist too much. Doesn't seem like it will. It's starting to twist a bit. That's fine. Oh. Good to good to hear. Good to hear that that helped out. Okay. Nice. 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 Okay. And then the other side maybe later right now we need to wrap it in a consistent way so that is a problem right there the way we fix that problem Is unknown. <laughs> it's, it's freaking unknown. Um. Shit. Okay, let's do this. Just remove that bridge, and uh, let me just insert like 10 segments because I think that's how many we will need let me slide them Let's see, this one slides to here, this one to here, pew, pew. this one slides pretty close to here, and then we're gonna have like an awkward one here, that's fine. Right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Never, never works the first time. Okay. That to that, that to that, that to that, that to that, and then two and one. So we need to get rid of one of these. And I think we will be getting rid of this. Okay. Ah. There we go. Polygons. Woo! Fuck yeah, polygons. Three hours. The stream has been going for two hours, 45 minutes. I will need to leave today before six, though. I have a meeting to attend. But I think we will, we will be fine. Let's 
let's do from here to here and from here to here bridge of 10 segments I am going to scream. Okay, um, is that not the correct amount? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm sorry, how did it become 9 rather than 10? So then this works. Yes. The answer is yes. This is so bulgy. Um, I wanna let's try unlock selected get unlock selected this extract surface lock the poly surface. So now we have the surface here. Um, let me hide this for a second. Mm. C plane um, YZ world ah uh, world left that's fine now we need this F10 and with wireframe we select all of these points not those though like these guys here shaded named selections I'll just save the selection if I mess up um, we choose to project it's not projecting hello what the fuck okay we undo we go for body choose to project again select curves and points to project okay so that's my selection Can I deselect stuff? Hello? Okay. What the f <laughs> Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Mm -hmm. Project. And we project onto the surface. There we go. That was difficult. But now it's done. Okay, so we have uh, like a this form that's decently following the the surface. And let's continue.
one, two, three, one, two, three. just be a bridge um, never mind no, it's not gonna be that easy is it because there's stuff going on here Do a bubble. One, two, three. Like that. One, two, three. Four, four. something like this Wasn't that bad. Okay, 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 okay. We can we can we can work with this.
is a triangle, huh? Let's think about this one for a second. Something like that, huh? How the hell do we bridge that? Well, first of all, we probably do it here. Like so. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Should work. Mm. I should order food.
a little bit of cleanup. extract the surface log this this is where it gets a little bit tricky and trim the cylinder so that we can cap it so that we can create a seaplane on top of it great now we need to well, it still needs to be there. I create the sub the cylinder around its center point. Perfect. And we slap the cylinder. Can be the smaller one. That's fine. And we extrude it to the correct length. Double click that. Gumball snappy and move the cylinder to here. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Okay. Then, then what? Then we offset sub D, offset it outwards by five. I don't know. Definitely not five. Three. Three seems to be okay. It's a little bit big. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too big. Let's do, do two. Yeah. Two is much better. Let's do that. Mapping Rhino indeed is a lottery and you never, never win, you never win. does this look okay so it's basically a cylinder that's just sticking out okay we can do that Basically, we oops, shouldn't do that. 
basically we just need to move these vertices to here and then kind of bridge everything I think that's gonna be that of course last vertice doesn't move never mind started moving Let's just see how it bridges. this I think I can right yeah this does need to go away though That part needs a little bit more love. Stop snapping. smoother
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a five. Again is done. Closed? Yes, closed. Make some coffee. We'll be right back.
<clears throat> oh, Gintos, thank you for the Patreon support. Just got the not notification. a look at some things mm. back in the day so like yeah, there we go. I tried doing Sebdi Retopo in Rhino. I did this forum post on McNeil forums. Talking about my journey right here. Kind of explaining you know, the, the thought process and so on. And just listing all of the different things that we want to, to have. So when I mentioned shrink wrapping, they they got the wrong idea, I guess. So this is where I got the reply uh, from the McNeil people. Well, before as well, but now like official one. Um, extra sub D filed as a bug report or as a feature request. Extra sub D again filed. Doesn't interact with the currency plane filed. Bevel does not remember the last numeric input used. So this w finally was fixed. Now Bevel does remember the input that was used. I still type it in though. Uh, insert point is this now, but you have to click the vertices. Does that help? Or would you like to see a two vertebrae selection automatically insert the edge? Being able to select two sub vertices to create an edge between them. Insert point. I wonder. Let's try. That, that. That, that. Insert point. Okay. That does it. <clears throat> so we can cut with insert point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there have been which one has been fixed? So there have been quite a few improvements.
Okay, settings stick between sessions. That's good. Um, so there, there have been quite a few improvements with uh, the retopology, and I will. Um, this is gonna be another forum post that I will do. If there are any, if there is anything that you would like me to add to the forum post that you yourselves have not been happy with in terms of sub D workflow, uh, let me know. And I will make sure to test it out and add it if it's if it doesn't make sense. But it doesn't make sense. I mean, if if, if, the, if there is like a bug or you know what I mean. Select this. Should be flattened out though. Um, I just want mapping on my package box to work. They're working on it, that's all I can say, they're working on it. Then it depends how hard it is for them to implement. It doesn't matter how hard it is for them. They should do it if there is a... Like if there is a request or, or a need from the community, they, they should do it with no exceptions or else they, they will just get destroyed by some other company that actually does it I mean they shouldn't uh, follow every single request it needs to be uh, community driven meaning more than one person requesting it you know would be nice but they should definitely what's 360 divided by 8 45 okay what oh uh, what's 45 divided by 2 225.5 no 22.5 okay that's good good talk good talk
Oh, we extruded this. Uh, it shouldn't be extruded. Only until here. And then some more. Until, let's see, here. What I mean is that there are features that they cannot easily implement in both Rhino 7 and 8, so they will include it in Rhino 8 but not update Rhino 7. That is absolutely true, yes. But, you know. I think it should be that way, shouldn't it? What the fuck am I doing? Let's reflect this, actually. Both of these. Or not. Uh, no, let's reflect this. Midpoint. I'm trying to figure out what. Oh, why is that a problem? Like if if they if they would need to implement it later, basically. I don't feel like that's a problem. with elephant grasshopper plugin no I can't say I have
Wait, elephant. Maybe I have. Now what does it do? Oh yeah, refer reference by layer. I, I did use reference by layer. Okay, and I think this is that. Now this just fits with this. This part was easy. Correctly, this needs to bulge backwards, and this also bulges a little bit backwards. Yeah, something like that. Nice, 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 That can be soft, that's okay, but this can't be soft, I cannot allow it. But instead of doing our traditional bevel... No, I should do a traditional bevel. Uh, but let's first reflection, remove, refle uh, remove reflection. Nice, 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 nice. Bam. And that bam actually continues being a bam. Right here.
There we go, that's a double bam, double whammy. The top surface needs to be controlled. But I think we control it in a different way. I think we inset as a group. Yeah, to a hockey puck type of a thing. And last but not least, it's here. I think what we need to do is we need just to bring these up to here. And those will hold. Yeah, they hold very, very well. Okay, that is done. That was easy. Let's see if it fits. Um, sure. That's a tight fit, but it does fit. Okay. Four o'clock. Two hours left until I need to leave. This one will need us to work on it a little bit. That's fine though. We can we can, we can do this. Let me make a copy of this. Let's inverse this. Remove everything from the bottom. Remove everything. All of these edge loops here because the yeah. that just shed the bed like crazy. Saw how crazy that was. That was very crazy. Some might say too crazy. Okay, I just kill it, I think, like that. Well, without this. I think I, it's just that, right? Yeah, let me just do it this way. Because I only need the puck. The cylinder. Right there. Bridge. Bam. We have it. We have it going. We have it going, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't need that. This is awkward. How do we get rid of this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck, fuck. Okay, if I delete this, what happens? That probably becomes like a double, double whammy. And now I can't select anything. Uh oh. I think I've maybe we can just do it this way just through polygons delete those delete these and just bridge yeah That's exactly what I wanted. Let's move it vertically from here to... Let's see this point right there. Okay, so now these are touching and working and looking nice in general. Should be touching a little bit less. Like that. Okay. Now for the foot itself. Uh, 
grasshoppers time. Did I move this? No, I didn't. Grasshopper time. Okay, um, let's get rid of all the surfaces. Every single, not every, almost every single surface. Like that. Mm. So this is not necessary for me. I can just remove this all together. That is necessary though. That might be nice if it just kind of meshes all together without me needing to step in and mesh it manually. Wouldn't it be nice? It would, wouldn't it? It would. It won't though. But the boy can dream. Sure, let's try. Let's try. Definitely not that though. And then we have this whole part. We can do something about it in Grasshopper. Okay, so if I set multiple B reps, um, this is how it looks like, and this whole thing is pink. But that simply means that I need to make those surfaces just fuck off. I don't need to show them, I can make them automatically fuck off. So if I do something like this, I get a list um, that I can also invert and can get that again and can deconstruct it again and the edges go in here and now this doesn't matter it doesn't need to be shown because basically what I'm doing is I'm only getting the surfaces that can be converted into um, sub D type geometry. Also it's orange here. I will ignore that and just bake it. Okay. This is better than expected. I mean that that's completely broken. This can be used. <laughs> what? Oh, it's like a double line. Just, okay, that's fine. We will we will be able to fix that. This still saves so much time compared to the other method of just doing a bounding box and trying to drag stuff around okay so we get ourselves a little foot 
footsie here. What the fuck is that? Uh, that's not good, is it? Yeah, that 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 ain't good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We will we will figure it out. We need to bring it back though. Zoom into it. Lock this bad boy. Let's just see. Where do we even begin? I guess with this. Ah. Ah. actually nice not not memeing actually nice and uh, that's not nice though okay let's that can be straight insert a few edges so that and then one more that whoopee first surface That ain't gonna be easy. Okay, so this definitely needs to chill a bit with the amount of polygons that we're getting. Hopefully. see why this wouldn't work it actually does okay did I of course it's not symmetrical why would it be that would be crazy wouldn't it that would be just insane um one two three that's three that means all of these need to match up with three excuse me what the fuck ain't that something okay this is a bit better a little bit disgusting but should be fine one, two, three. Like that. Straight up like that. Um, again, not enough. Just hit you with a bevel. Okay, so now that is bridging and these three can be connected into one big happy family and these three can be connected into one big family. Adjustments to this later. Mm. 
that bridge? No, that connects to the cylinder. Whoa. Trippy. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So that is solved, and now we need definitely not that. Uh, so this can connect with that, and that can connect with this. And then we will have like a little bit of a thing going on in this area. Yeah, okay. I mean it works and if it works it works uh, wait what if it if it works it works slide this though to here part didn't didn't succeed i will need to make this mm, when though i can make it now yeah let's make it now bend face to this sub d from edge hello give me the yeah, there we go. And we just kind of do it manually, awkwardly. One, two, three, four. Okay. No need for that. Messed up of a 
polygon situation. So I'm just going to insert a new one here. And that is going to be one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we kind of just position them nicely. Yep, that's fine. That's good enough. Uh, that is very sharp though. Yeah, that's because the... Shit. Okay, so the fillets go into zero. That's why. Mm. I'm thinking of doing this actually. I think that works. This is just completely broken, huh? That's fine. I expected that this is just gonna be a shit show with the with the fingers. Morpheus Hotel was created with a lot, like, they used a lot of different stuff for Morpheus Hotel by Zaha. I, I've also seen the, the webinar, I think it's great, it's really interesting. A lot of Revit as well for Morpheus Hotel. A surprising amount of Revit. Ooh. Subscribe if you also yawned with me. <laughs> Easy subscriber catching. Fishing for subs. So that actually will be a triangle. That will be a fill uh, or a bridge. that structural or decor it's self-supporting uh, so it's partly s structural
most of the most of the stuff that you see oh, that's gonna need to oh shit we're, we're gonna need so many more edge loops here it's crazy so where was that most of the stuff that you see in the like the famous office buildings and whatnot that's all the core you could call it the core I personally think that doing stuff simply because it's pretty is very important. Like super important. So we're just gonna end up doing really boring buildings or really boring people and become those boring people ourselves. rectilinear boxes there's nothing wrong with rectilinear boxes in my opinion in my humble opinion absolutely nothing wrong with rectilinear boxes But they also can be either boring or interesting, right? definitely don't need these polygons here so those are gone the inner ones I mean those are gone second of all those are triangular for some fucking reason I, I get get why they are triangular that is fine can I just bridge like that yeah I can okay so we can do bridges like that huh and that is kind of holding.
but that is incorrect because <clears throat> the bridge needs to happen on the inside I uh, like Le Lebedev studio idea for changing facade when you walk by A little bit overkill, isn't it? I'm just saying <laughs> the Wilton Towers. Curved shapes are hard to detail and even harder to find contractors that can build them in my country, but yeah, there are some nice... Yeah, uh, the, the, the that's the biggest problem, the contractors, honestly. Um, because while you can do bridge, one second, okay. uh, one, two, three, four, four. While you can do a lot uh, in terms of modeling, if you don't have a contractor that can actually deliver on it doesn't matter what you can or cannot do it's the same thing in every country by the way I mean you need the team you can't expect the, to, that everyone will be able to do fancy form right or else everyone would be doing fancy forms certain extent let's clean this up a bit just get them kind of going Aggressive interactive facade. Best kind of facade. I like to be judged when I walk by. to mention i have a chance on doing a um, unity project um, with a person who is quite good at coding is there anything that you would like to see done in unity again code it 
right so like 3d modeling plus coding or animation plus coding something something plus coding in unity meaning real time any needs wants thoughts suggestions This one needs to not exist because it's getting bridge and bridge won't work um, because a line needs to happen. A line didn't happen. Now a line happened. here no need for that go away this is a foot no one is gonna ever see this what I'm, I'm modeling right here but still we need to do it we need to do it The encoding is too much for you, for me too, for me too, as well. I thought I hated coding. I'm not going to be doing the. I'm not the one who's going to be doing the coding. Of course not. I still hate coding. Just so that we're all on the same page. Nothing changed. Coding, I mean anything, honestly. Mm. 
We're trying to kind of figure it out right now. Me and the person who's going to be doing the coding. What exactly do we want to achieve? Oh, wait. Ah, shit. I did it the wrong way. Shit. Okay, we first do this then. to square one. Basically need all of these to be also beveled. And then it's gonna work. selection
Fuck. There we go. Okay, um... Can you lighten everything? And try again with the... Vertical movement. Okay, this is awkward, but I guess like that. Okay, this is not what I want. I want this to extrude like so. Of course, it doesn't match up. Get in here. Stitch to that. Um, and then, 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 then. This gets extruded as well. Move to here. These two are stitched into one point. And now this is bridged. Okay. 
Ah, this will work. Or not. Or not, because I forgot to bevel this. interesting either way that works There we go. Okay, I have less than an hour left. Well, kind of an hour. Will we make it in time with the foot? Probably we won't make it in time with the toes, but the foot itself should be we should be able to. Welcome back. Welcome back. One. There we go. And then opposite side right here. Close that. Oh, the answer is I didn't. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool, 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 cool. So instead, we do some shenanigans here. I bridge here we make a triangle that is a no no if I bridge here then it follows the long boy so that's a yes yes okay so we just need four no we need three segments here and then it's it becomes a yes yes we need to actually let me options 
um, I turn on my wireframe object sub D uh, crease use single color thickness like five. Oh, that's the uh, uh, crease of uh, my bad options so not five like a uh, three uh, boundary yes that one like three okay this will be easier to fish out where do I need to stitch things and to actually understand that uh, you know after stitching that the creased edges are gone. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what's next? Next we have here a direct bridge like that. Bridge like that. Um, pretty awkward bridge like that. if we say fuck it and just do it this way um, then our life is a little bit easier I think because then we can just do um, okay let me append base That's one vertice. That's also one vertice. So that's one vertice. What? What's up? you don't exist okay. um, that's a whoopsie how the hell did I miss that okay so these two actually bridge with two segments
<laughs> Let's append some faces. Um, from edge. Book. Book. That seems fine. Just take this and drag this down. Like that. Okay. The fuck? Why the tri triangles? Come on. There's no triangles here. Jesus Christ, the stitching of the pen is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Like it just doesn't doesn't rec recognize uh, the curves on which it should be added so this needs to be not that basically again append click vertex vertex nope still need to fix it manually every time So here I can do, uh, or 
better. Let's start from <clears throat> from here. From here. Perhaps. I can do a double bevel. Straightness one. I don't think straightness does anything, honestly. That doesn't matter. Okay, so we have that bevel. Actually, it's so dog shit. Let's think. We need so many. just insert I should just insert shouldn't I yeah okay so this inserts to here then we have that then we have that gap this this gap and one more and if I'm if my calculations are correct oh I miscounted but maybe it's gonna be fine let's see yep it's fine and now it's only this triangle that's that's problematic but i think we just fill it yeah it's fine okay so the heel not heel but with this base part let's bridge okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 13 it is So of course that needs to you know not do that um which is not that hard just need to slide all of these across here then slide some more like that then just slide some more like that that's now a bit better. Then this whole part actually, can we just do a bevel here and open this up? That's a no. So it's better if this one slides out. No. Also no. Eh, we'll, 
work on that later. I'm selecting the wrong. Polygon group. Really? Okay. At least it remembered. Okay, and the question now is, can this stitch properly? Okay, so I actually need to do this point by point, that's fine. Basically zipping it up. Adding a zipper and zipping it up.
and segment please let's fill some holes yeah Sub D, let's go. <clears throat> but I'm curious, Phil. Jesus Christ, that that's horrible. Hello, Karen. Hello. Nothing much. I'm just uh, bridging some polygons. Have been at it for a little while now. So I'm a bit on the on the tired side, I would say. With a full on auto auto mode engaged. <clears throat> bam 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 bam. actually nice okay this whole thing ah shit okay so let's do that real quick let's remove some polygons like that and then pop up pop up pop, 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 
this tree off this tree off and just bridge with three sevens so that now i can stitch that stitch that for some reason that is already stitched question mark Okay, that seems like it's gonna smooth out. manage holding let's actually not do that Also become smaller. It's a little bit rotated, a little bit crooked, but I think that's still fine. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Fuck. Of course it broke. Um, like that. Okay, that's that's pretty clean. <clears throat> that's pretty clean. Okay, now the tricky bit. How do I attach this to that? For sure I will need an edge here and an edge here. But also I'll need edges going in the opposite direction. So let's do those. Let's create those. Um yeah, this will this should work, right? Yeah, okay. Insert edge. Just slap one. Um like that. Like that. that and finally like that 
now, 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 we isolate this and we need to clean everything up. For instance, absolute here. And, oh shit, okay, of course. It just stops working, okay. Mm. Okay, that's fine though. I can just do that. That. Select all of this. And select this. Okay, let's, let's do it other way around. with a pretty intense nope 0.1 pretty intense alignment okay remove crease mm. show that actually lock that not lock So I need to remove a lot of stuff from here. I'm going around the whole perimeter. Plan B. Plan B is called these three are separate objects. I like plan B. Plan B is nice. We stick with plan B. soon fucking hate meetings
That, by the way, that was mine, not yours. for the like that actually like liking stuff actually helps with the almighty algorithm i know that's what <laughs> that's what they all say but it's true it actually does Still needs some cleaning up. Ghosted stuff. We need to move things around.
I think we the best way to do this is just by selecting ribbons just pushing and pulling on them like that oops an arc like so These polygons right here, we need them to chill. Let's move. We need them to do something like that. managed to do the whole leg today but um, I think I'll, I'll just do it off stream uh, in the evening No, that's fine actually.
Okay, most of this works. I am off. I'm off for today. I need to order some food and then uh, have a meeting. I thank you all for watching, all two of you who stayed until the end. <laughs> oh, these streams are doing great, just great. <laughs> so thank you. And I will see you probably tomorrow or maybe not. I don't know. I have a... Uh, yeah, tomorrow I have work to do. Uh, so probably it's gonna be... A, even if I do stream, it's gonna be a late stream, first of all. Somewhere around this time. And second of all, it's probably just gonna be like a few hours. Okay. Bye!